Hello, my name is Warrior3456, and today we'll be opening one uh, Pokemon trading card game, a uh, Snorlax pin. And we'll go ahead and open it here. I believe this is one of the uh, dollar store variety tins, because I always see these out to the dollar store. So we are going to go ahead and open these up here. I think I've got all three of the tins. I just haven't... Well, I opened a darker eye one that I got at Walgreens, but I haven't opened... There we go. Haven't opened the Snorlax or Mimikyu yet. And we will go ahead and get in here. So we get a nice art of the three different Pokemon on the sides. And of course, Snorlax, the main card here. Let me see. It looks like they got the code card for it facing straight up. So I will go ahead and nab that. And then we get our nice reverse uh, hollow Snorlax uh, promo, which this is what I'm used to from years ago for promo cards. And I will go ahead and just lightly pull it out and try not to bend it any more than it already is, thanks to the way they put them in here. And I believe we get three packs out of this. So it looks like one Evolving Skies, a Fusion Strike, and a Brilliant Stars. So who knows? Hopefully we will pull something good out of one of them. And they are nice uh, flat uh, packs. So I guess we'll start with Fusion Strike because I don't expect anything good out of here. So if we do get something good, it'll be a surprise. Cut the top off here, and if I can get a grip, okay, well, let's see, they put the code card in upside down, so I'll go ahead and move that, do the four to the front, and these are the cheap feeling cards, but yeah, hopefully there's something good in here. We have a steel type energy to start off with, followed up with cross switcher, a Breloom, Hariyama, Vulpix, Plusle, Sandy Gast, Stuffle, Sizzlipede. We have a foil Yvetel. And on the end, we have a Cinderace V, so that is nice. I didn't expect to get something like that out of one of these packs, so we will go ahead and take that, well, at least out of Fusion Strike anyway. And we'll do Brilliant Stars next, because I believe I already have the Charizard that comes out of this, so... We'll go ahead and open it and save Evolving Skies for the last pack here. Let's see here. Is the code card upside down in these again? Yep. Okay. Oh, never mind. They got it right this time. Okay, we'll put that aside. Do four to the front. And I don't know why, but these cards feel cheaper than some of the other ones. Makes me wonder if they're real or not. Anyway, we have our... Dark type energy followed up with Collapse Stadium, Luxio, Pot Helmet, Sock, Cherubi. We have Ryolu, Starly, Spiritomb. That's one of my favorite Pokemon. Followed up with a Trainer Gallery, Octillery. And on the end, we have a Shaman V-Star, so that is nice. We got two good cards out of that pack. Uh, I like the Trainer Gallery cards, but I don't know why. A lot, they're, like, they're really cheap. They're only like a dollar a piece. you think they'd be more. And then we have this Textured Shaman V-Star card, which if I'm not wrong, this is a promo from a different pack? Maybe not. I believe it's from a collector's box that I've bought and neglected to open. I think it was a Black Friday box that I bought, and apparently Walmart decided since it wasn't Black Friday anymore, it was now $50, so 
we will go ahead and work on our final pack of the video. Hopefully we pull something good. And here we go. I would like a Umbreon, please. And we have our Electric Energy to start with. We have Ursaring. We have Crystal Cave. Toy Catcher. Dino. Pumpkaboo. Carvana. Gossifleur. Fletchling. And we have a Hollow Floet followed up with a regular rare Shift Tree. Okay, let me go ahead and sit that aside. We did manage to pull some pretty decent cards out of this tin. We have a Trainer Gallery Octillery followed up with Shaman V Star, a regular Yvettel, a regular Hollow, Cinderace V, very nice. I believe this is a, well, maybe it's not a full art card, but it's as close as you're going to get. And then we have a Snorlax uh, Reverse uh, Hollow, which actually has some Hollow Bleed throughout it that I noticed earlier. There's certain areas of the card that for some reason reflect light that aren't, and a Hollow Floet. So don't forget to like and subscribe if this is the first video you have seen made by me. I open Pokemon cards and Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I have a Discord server you can join in the description of the video. And goodbye.